I'd like you to put your hands together. Please welcome to the stage, Jenny Rayner. Thank you, Simon. Wow. I never thought I'd be here. There's so many people that have been on this course that I feel deserve it a lot more than me. I, I, when I got the call from Simon, I just cried. <laughs> you know, I'm not ashamed to say it, and I'll probably cry again today. So, here goes. <sighs> this is my journey. Um, I'm Jenny Rayner. I'm still in full-time employment. Uh, you may laugh, <laughs> but there's a twist in my tail. <laughs> um, I've been working for the same company for over 23 years. I started at the age of 20. On and off, went, left, came back. I started off as a telesales, and now I'm the sales director. It's a big publishing house. It's very demanding, very stressful. Um, but for me, I was brought up, you get your education <coughs> and you get a good job. You get paid, you live your life. I didn't know there was more to it than that. I'm married to my husband called Stuart and really he should be standing on the stage with me because the journey is his as well. I have three children, had three children. I own my own house, I have two cars, and I go on holiday every year. But things changed as life throws a curveball. <sighs> my daughter of 22 decided to take her own life. And on May the 5th, my life changed. My whole world ended. What I thought was such a beautiful life became a torment for me. I buried my daughter. It was a grand affair. Over 200 people turned up, but I had nothing. Yes, I had my other two girls and my husband, but I had a broken heart. Lucy left a letter saying how wonderful parents we were. But she said, Mom, Dad, what are your property dream? And at that time, it was just a dream. So I got a phone call from work. You need to come back to work now. You've been on your compassionate leave. And I thought, I don't want to go back to work. I want to be with my family. And so I did go back to work, but I stood outside the doors, and yet I cried again. And I phoned my boss and I said, look, I can't come through the doors. So he came and got me. <laughs> and I walked through the doors and the whole day was, was awful. And so I want to share with you my reason why. I want financial freedom. I don't want the money to squander. I want it to give me time to be with my family to really spend quality time with my family. They're the most important things to me. And when my daughter died, we ran a charity. She suffered from mental health issues. So we now have a charity called the Lucy Rayner Foundation. It's doing tremendously. And I want to find the time to do my property, part time, and to run the charity. And so me and my husband, found the money, and we went on the three-day accelerator course. And what we found there just blew, blew my mind. The possibilities, the adventure that we could go on. And it was the glue that brought our family together after my daughter died. And then we had a conversation with Julie Barlow, and she could see the hunger that we had the need we had to change our lives. We didn't want to go back to the corporate lifestyle to do the traveling. Didn't want any of that. 
And so we walked away with hope. One of us had to do the mastermind course. I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money. And so we begged friends, family, and eventually, from nowhere, an angel came and gave me the money to pay for the mastermind course. And I promised that I would pay that back, and I have. So the first property that we did was Honeycrock Lane. We flipped that really quickly. It's a semi, it's a mid-terraced. I bought it for 192,000. Uh, sold it for 225,000. I made 33K in it. I paid back all of the money that I owed and it gave me enough money to go on the mastermind course. So quickly from there, with fire in our bellies, we ran with it. So we bought Spencer's Road. Spencer's Road is a free bed semi-detached. We purchased it for 195,000. It was three bed. We put in a four bedroom, multi-let. It now brings us 250,000 pounds. No, 2,050 pounds. And uh, it brings me 9,156 pounds a year. Profit after everything's taken out. Then we bought Ringwood Close. This I did with JV Partner. And that rents out at 400, no, at 2,550 pounds. And that gives me, after everything is split, it gives me 325 pounds a month. That's 3,900 a year. Then there's Russell Crescent, which was an option that I did. Again, it's with a JV. Um, that gives me good rental income of 4,600 pounds. And I get a yearly annual profit on that of 13,200. And this is my mastermind results. Okay, I have a property portfolio now of 1,145,000 pounds. And I take, with all the flips, with the cash profits, with the rentals, I take home a year 94,000, just over 94,000. So my tips here are, you have to have a strong reason why that is what drives you when everything is pit against you, when you need to have that extra oomph. If your reason why is big enough, you'll get through. You need to find a strategy that works for you. Once you find that it works, you do it over and over again until you get to the end game. You need persistence. No matter what happens, you need to take action Every day, take an action. And Jilly taught me something huge. <coughs> Celebrate. Celebrate every achievement that you have in your journey, no matter how small it is. Obviously, I'm still grieving for my daughter, but I still find the time, even in the smallest way, if it means just sitting in the pictures, holding my husband's hand and not talking, that's what we do. We celebrate it. Because the celebrations will outweigh all the setbacks that you have. And before I go, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to learn so much on this Mastermind course. And also, the people in the room, my buddies, you know who you are that supported me through the times when I'm stressing and struggling and things aren't going right. And I want to say a big thank you to Jilly Barlow. She has been there from the moment I started the journey. She knew what I wanted. She knew what I needed to achieve. She pushed me to, to achieve this. And I'm not so certain if she wasn't there that I would have achieved as much as I have. She made me be accountable for everything that I did. She didn't let up until I got to where I needed to be. And I want to thank Simon. You know, this, this is just amazing, amazing. And 
If you're in full-time employment, there's no excuse. You can do it working full-time. You just need to apply yourself. I told my family, I'm not going to see you for a year, so don't expect me to be there, you know? But I can turn up and say, I've done it. So that is it. That's my journey. Well done. That's it for Jenny Rayner. Well done, Jenny.